Who's there? Go, go away! I'm not done yet! Oh hey, drum, 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 drum. Well, we got a drum. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, Snake. Hurry to the rendezvous point. They need someone to play some reggae music. <laughs> well, hey, there's a new custom part here. It's a flashlight for pistols. You just jam it on the bottom. It doesn't if work. If you for find pistols. a hammer, you can put panels into the drum, Snake. Oh. One man steel drum band. <laughs> yes. Also, once you get a custom part for a certain type of gun, you can put it on as many as you want. You don't well, have to buy. Handy. You don't have to buy multiples. Also, I have two handguns here that are almost exactly the same. The only difference is that uh, the bottom one is slightly stronger, but but the bullet drops off faster. Mm. But they just. Oh, and also, if you find a gun that's locked, it you only have to pay the price of unlocking it. If you bought it from Drebin, you have to pay the price of the gun and unlocking it. So, exploring and finding guns is a lot cheaper. Nice. And hey, you have I'll to just... make the monkey happy. <laughs> well, here we go. Let's make the monkey really happy. Let's buy a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yes! That monkey is ecstatic. <laughs> Capitalism! <laughs> War economy! <laughs> when I play my steel drum, it's never the same song twice. The rust changes pitch every time I hit it. <laughs> well, uh, can make, uh, you can make the golf. menu pink if you want. Nice. Or purple. Or kind of a taupe. It puts me in touch with my daughter. Snake has a daughter? Hmm. I, I, maybe. Hmm. Spoilers for Metal Gear Rising. Sorry. Uh, uh, oh, what the? It's Raiden. Raiden <laughs> is, the, is Snake's daughter. Don't ask me how, it just happened. Even though Solidus did say, hey, I killed your parents, screw you. Well, killed one, about to kill the other. He was speaking in the future past tense. <laughs> okay. It's confusing. It is. Solidus, Solidus was a confusing guy. On the one hand, but then on the other tentacle. Hmm. So there are... So, so where are you going? Are you still just trying to get to where the Liquid is? We're trying to... There are U.S. informants that'll tell us where Liquid is. Ah, okay. And so we have to meet up with them at some building. And there's two ways to go. He could have gone up that ladder, or he can go around this way. And the differences are? Um, different path. If you take the one up the ladder, it's shorter. But mm -hmm. if you take the shorter one, you're probably not going to notice there there are snipers over here, which means you can take them out and get their guns for free. Nice. On the other hand, going the other way, uh, let's use a mortar cannon. I think you made the wrong choice. I don't know. Well, there's a bunch in the game. It's just not one. Okay. We better get to one soon. That's all I'm saying. There's a ton. Hmm. Snake, see that pile of dead men? <laughs> Don't be like that. Don't, Don't die. do it, Snake. No. Ooh, just squeeze between here. Snake. Too many calorie mates. Ugh. Why did I have to get the chocolate ration? Ugh. They didn't even come with crunchy M&Ms! No! Oh, I didn't get him. 
Yeah, if you don't throw a flashbang, if it's to the side or behind them, they don't get knocked out. They just... <laughs> what the hell? Where's that guy doing over there? Oh, whatever. He won't throw another grenade. Impossible. Well, I got two of them at least, and they fell in... <laughs> they fell in sync. They're... I got a feeling they could have kept that from happening in this game, but decided not to because... It's funny. They thought it was like an MGS staple or something. <laughs> They're war it's just pals. not Metal Gear if they don't fall synchronized. They're, they're war buddies. I mean, I only really knocked one out, but if the guy's got to go with the other guys, so he just did what he did. Go to the bathroom Didn't you at listen? the same time. They, they, they drilled the buddy system into us so hard at camp. <laughs> it wasn't camp, it was boot camp. It was camp! I made you a friendship bracelet! <laughs> This friendship bracelet binds us two together for the rest of our lives. You might not even in be able to see it, but it's there. It was just one night in the bunk, Jimmy. Shut up. <laughs> Look, it took, let go. it took a lot of it took a lot of time to put all those beats together. You better appreciate that bracelet. <laughs> Look, they they were war buddies too. They fell in slightly different directions, but they weren't very good war buddies. They, they're war acquaintances. Yeah. <laughs> Their friendship bracelet isn't color coordinated. <laughs> <laughs> it's just random beads that don't make sense together. Oh, hey, we've got grenades up in here. Up, bleh, bleh. up in here. Up in here! we got grenades! <laughs> Y'all are gonna make me explode a grenade. <laughs> we got company! Get oh. out the crumpets! Where are your scones? <laughs> hmm? Time to use a sleep mine. Or a, a satchel, I guess. They're, they're pretty big. And they're glowing. I don't know how I don't know how the soldiers miss them. Welcome to Metal Gear. Boop! <laughs> That's pretty nifty. And the cloud the cloud is really big, like watch. I barely touch it, my stamina just plummets. Oh man. Yeah. Somewhere twenty feet away another guy just collapsed. <laughs> War buddies are a powerful thing. <laughs> Intense waiting for this man, because sometimes he does check. You should get that wallpaper as your camo. Man, I should. I th actually, I think I get it later. If I had this game, that's all I would do. I would find the <laughs> dumbest patterns and make <laughs> them my outfit. Oh, and by the way, when you grab somebody, you can strangle them while crouching or while laying down, like this. <laughs> <laughs> Say uncle. Say uncle. <laughs> He lost. <laughs> well, hey, we got his rifle. The murderer. I love that gun. <laughs> Normally, if you just buy that from Drebin, it's like 18,000, 14,000 or something like that. But since we just found one, it only costs like 700 to, to uh, unlock it. I think you hit that guy in the head. I did. <laughs> his head bounced. <laughs> Does that do extra damage? I don't know. But hey, we have really low stamina, and Snake is really tired now. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry, Snake. He, he was massaging his back a minute, I, know, yeah. I, I noticed that. So his oh, aim yeah. gets wobbly. It's not that bad, but it does make it a little hard to, to get uh, headshots. Also... Get some potassium, Snake. You'll uh, feel like a new man. Also, if you roll a whole bunch, because you, you have those things you can apply to Snake's back. If you roll too much, he pulls <laughs> his back, and it makes his... <laughs> Anytime Snake has back problems, his stamina uh, decreases a little bit. So yeah, to 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 regain that lost stamina, you just use one of those compresses. Why isn't things. one of your Kodak buddies in uh, some uh, nurse? <laughs> well, that might happen. Oh hey, look, he's got a back thing. I was gonna say obstetrics, but that's the opposite thing. Yeah. Ooh, and there's a new gun in here. It's a pss. <laughs> it's the sneaky gun. It is. It is a sneaky gun, actually. It's really tiny. Hey, hey, you! Psst, psst, you Check hey. out this gun. It is the tiniest gun. Look, how, look <laughs> how skinny it is. Oh, it's a little baby. Yeah, but it um, soundless ammo, really. It uses soundless ammo, so you never have to. Um, it shoots really, really tiny bullets that drop off really fast, which is why it's like near soundless, but. The trade-off is that you never have to buy suppressors or anything, because it's so quiet when it fires bullets. Baby. 
because it's a baby gun. So more stuff about stamina, like being in a box or in shade makes your stress decrease, but it doesn't really do anything for making your stamina jump up better. But smoking cigarettes does. Also, laying down <laughs> makes it go a lot faster. <laughs> Snake, don't smoke in bed, you're gonna die. <laughs> it's a good way to go. <laughs> no, it's not. You're supposed to be a soldier, Snake, why? <laughs> why? R rations replenish like a little bit. Energy, drinks, and uh, noodles recover a lot more. Also, in uh, laying down like this counts as playing dead. So you can actually, if there are other dead people around, you can just lay down like this and bad guys will just walk right past you because they think you're dead. Unless you're smoking. I don't think well, a dead man can smoke. They're not that stupid. How many rations did you go through to smoke your way back? Uh, no, well, I mean, oh yeah, you can also shoot while lying down and also throw grenades. So if a guy knocks you down, you can just immediately pop him in the face. And they still might think you're dead. Welcome to Metal Gear. <laughs> no, um, I didn't use any rations because your health regenerates in this game. The, ah. the higher your stamina is, the faster it regenerates. It, and it regenerates really fast if you if you lie down on the ground with oh, okay. uh, full stamina. So let's buy another sleepy thing. These are like the satchel things, except... Except they work more like claymores. They just, if somebody gets near them, they automatically, like, jump up into the air and they blow up and shoot sleepy gas everywhere. That monkey is going to be my best friend. <laughs> the, there's a lot of monkey in this game. I'm not going to lie. There, quite a few of the cutscenes have that monkey in them. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Flank me, bitch. See what happens. Boop. Hey. Not so flank now, am I? <laughs> God, I love the dance they do. Flank this, motherfucker! Oop, gotta wait for the gas to go away. What a bouncy Next. gun! I know, that gun's just jiggling. Also, in a previous recording... <laughs> um, in a much more dramatic recording... <laughs> I um, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna grab the first guy and then pop the guy in front of him in the head. It was gonna be really cool, you know. And I was gonna do it, but th my pals got in the way. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Stop, my, drop, and roll actually works in this game. I love it. My, my pals got in the way. I mean, they killed the guys, but I didn't get to be cool. But oh well, they were helpful, I guess. I'll just get my guns and I'll just go, whatever. Oh my god! <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> you are not buddies anymore. This what did is you a do to single them? man just throwing Molotovs <laughs> at the same spot over and over. What did, what did they do to you? What did you do to them? Nothing. I blame you. I did blame you. To them. Snake, what did you do? All the bad things I did to them was a dream. <laughs> are you still in a dream? No. Suppressing fire. Snakey. Suppress that barrel. Ugh. Also, the barrel's kind of big, and if you're up against the wall, it's kind of impossible to look at stuff. Also, look, he's he's holding his invisible knees. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that the enemy soldiers have been trained on FPSs, so they're afraid to shoot you in case you explode. Probably. You should get, like, a super invincible barrel, and it just, like, puts a triangle <laughs> sticker with an exclamation point on the side. Just give it a red paint job. My barrel is magic. Uh. Also, this little area right here is a little annoying because there's one guy right around the corner of this building who sometimes mm. just randomly walks back here for no reason, and I get caught by him quite a lot. And there's also an alley over here where bad guys sometimes come out of, just randomly. Or if you kill a bunch of guys, and sometimes guys will just, will just appear and take the, the spot of the dead man. Like nothing ever happened. Because... War buddies. Know. Yeah. You really are not good at this, come on. War... Buds. I'll, I'll be your war buddy. Hmm. A dating site for war buddies. <laughs> not really a dating site. Just a site for war buddies to become war pals. <laughs> It'd be okaries.com. <laughs> I 
I'd like to see Snake's OK Ares profile. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no! Snake, you've crossed over into Half Life 2. So the helicopters in this game are future copters, and the blades on them are really fat for some reason. I don't know if that would actually work. It's probably based on some prototype probably. that doesn't make sense. Yeah, probably. Which is why it's just a prototype. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't have multiple blades. It just has one, and it's really fat. Well, that well, seems gotta... nonsensical. Yeah. I got a couple guys with this stun grass. St stun grass. <laughs> I got some guys with my stun grass. Take they a whiff of my stun grass. They just stopped to smell the flowers and it knocked them out. <laughs> it's just a really big bouquet of flowers that shoots sleeping gas. Snake's new arsenal was borrowed from the Joker. Are you the Joker? Snake, <laughs> don't lie to me. Okay. Let's you see if we can. one bad day. Let's see if we can help our buds out. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. I'm gonna help you. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, hello. Look, another pal dropped in. Man, you're not my war buddy. <laughs> Man, screw this. It's a helicopter, and I, when I blew up, there's a guy like three inches to my right, and he did not blow up. He was a okay, but whatever. I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna help these buddies out. They can deal with this themselves. I'm, I'm going in here. I'm not gonna blow up this time. I'm their shit. Screw that, it's a helicopter. Should also clarify that when you're outside and you see all the the stray bullets flying around and like occasional mortars, those aren't just cosmetic. Uh they're just randomly placed and they actually can't hurt you. When I when I just exploded previously, um that wasn't a mortar though. It was actually a missile from the helicopter. <laughs> There's like two frames where you can see the missile in the very bottom of the screen. So that, that helicopter got me good. It snuck up on me with a missile. Welcome back, Snake. Hmm. Oh, boy. There's a playboy over there guarded by a claymore. Time to bust <laughs> out the tiny robot. This is my porn! Get away from my porn! Nope. Too bad. I have a robot specifically designed to disarm porn guarding bombs. Here we go. Here we go. Only in Metal Gear Solid would such a thing Whoop. be necessary. Yeah. Can, so yeah, you can. Can you still you crawl can... over claymores and pick them up with your feet and/or butt? Yeah. Okay, good. No, oh, it's yep. so cute. <laughs> you can also. There's also uh, sleeping mines over here, and you can also take those. You can't crawl over, crawl over these. They'll just blow up in your face. That's why we got a, a tiny robot. Yes. Also, if you spin the tiny robot around for quite a while. I want there to be a tiny robot fighting league. <laughs> and Otacon would be go. the only one who enters without actually having a robot with weapons, and he'd still win somehow. 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 Well, I mean, he sort of has a weapon, I guess. He's, he's got the little zappy arm. Yeah, but he's gone up against robots with buzzsaws and junk. Yeah, like Razor. Well, that wasn't a buzzsaw, that was just... Ziggo! They just pinched you really hard, and they always won, pretty much. I love Ziggo. It's the best robot. I can't remember which one is Ziggo. He's just... He was a lightweight that just spun really fast with razor blades on the side, and he would tear your shit up. Oh, yeah, I remember him. And <laughs> yeah, that was a fun show. So this is the building that, has, that Rat Patrol 01 is in, and they trapped the whole building... Which might seem like a good idea to keep bad guys out, but the way they trap the whole building is like putting down an item that Snake might really want and then putting a bomb in front of it. <laughs> so it's more like they're just dicking around with Snake because they got nothing else better to do. Well, is there anything better to do? You, you, you just you occupy the most dangerous man on the battlefield for as long as possible. <laughs> you use what you know against him. I guess. I mean, they, they invited him in everything. <laughs> And then they just trapped the whole house! We don't want him showing us up! <laughs> Put the porn behind bombs! He won't resist! It's okay, he could take like five claymores before he dies. <laughs> he won't fall for it five times in a row, right? right? It'll give us time to do all the heroic shit before he comes and saves our asses. 
Also, there's one kind of sneaky claymore that's placed uh, the other way around, so it's really skinny while you're going up the stairs. Oh. Ooh. That one actually got me the first time I played this. I just ran straight into it and I blew up. I didn't die, but I blew up. <laughs> All it guards is some noodles. That's worth it. I guess. Noodles are yeah. tasty. I might I just have some noodles right now. Hmm. Noodles are the best healing item in the game, and also, um, if you're in the start menu, it tells you like the temperature of wherever you're at right now, <laughs> and and if you eat the the colder this it is, game. I know the colder it is, the more psych the noodles restore because it because they're hot. <laughs> So if you're in a really cold place, it would, like, fully restore your sight because it's cold outside. This fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I was looking at the floor below a second ago because there are goodies down there that I never noticed for some reason. And I was trying to figure out how to get to them. And you, I just How do you get the goodies? Hang. Hang and drop and nope. grab. You can't, you can't hang on these ones, but Why? believe me, I figure out in a second because it's too high and Snake is old and he can't jump. I don't know. God damn it, Snake. Take your arthritis pills. I know. I was thinking, well, hmm, maybe I can hop up on these. No. No, it's a, it's a different... It's a other solution. we got to wait for a while before we, we can get to them, though. Oh, there's a rat. Is he on patrol? Possibly. Well, he's leading me. He's just going and going. He's leading me over here. And I was like, aha, this is how you get to the stuff. <laughs> this has got to be it. This has got to be the way to the stuff. I'm telling you. Always Why else would there rats. be a vent? What a nice Why rat. Why has there never been a Metal Gear boss that, like, controls rats? <laughs> I don't like, know. Like, send swarms of diseased vermin at you. That'd be great. There's been enough duck crawling in Metal Gear games that they should have a boss that just takes place in yes. the duck system. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> just, make, just make a boss that's, like... He doesn't really have any superpowers. He's just a crazy guy who knows a... who made, like, a labyrinthine, like, duck system. <laughs> With tons of traps. Yes. <laughs> but nope. This didn't take me to the stuff. It just put me back over here. Why doesn't that go to the stuff? Well, back over here where I picked up smoke gas like a minute or so ago. If I just would have went... I was looking at this wall because this wall isn't here later. <laughs> I was like, hmm. But it's actually here. But there are lasers in the way right now. Ah. Oh. Snake. I'm detecting a trap. Oh. No shit! It's a bomb <laughs> that uses an infrared sensor as a detonation trigger. It's actually red. I can see it. And I'm detecting slight traces of volatile... It's ultra-infrared. <laughs> trigger it and you'll be knocked out. So be careful. So, Arakan just said, hey, Snake, that's a bomb. But if you trigger it, you'll just be knocked out. And... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the one claymore I forgot about. Guarding noodles I can't pick up. Why, why does I have too many noodles? I can't tell you about that bomb, the one that actually <laughs> hurts. Snake, if you touch the ultra infrared, you'll have to take a nap. Uh, but I don't know what Otacon is talking about when he says it's volatile sleep gas because I tried it out in a different recording and it just blows you up. <laughs> you blow up and you die and you fall into the hole below. So I don't know what. It's kind of a theme Otacon has. He gives you lots of bad <laughs> gameplay advice in this. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, he, sometimes, sometimes he just doesn't know better. He needs to tighten the focus on Metal Gear. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, gotta set it to auto. Oh yeah, the camo I was using was the mattress camo. But hey, now we got tiles. <laughs> We're gonna save those. Let's save those tiles. In case we go sneaking around in a bunch of showers later. Yeah, maybe a kitchen. Maybe like a back of a pizzeria, maybe. <laughs> Watch out for pizzerias. There may or may not be murder suicides going on. Oh, oh. oh goodness. So, just change my guns. My notice that they're all shooty guns or things that blow up. Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! All right. Here. 
Easy now. Don't move! You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Careful! I'm no rookie! I'm a ten-year vet! How the hell did you ever survive ten years? Don't move! CQC. Real big boss, huh? Lower your weapon! Slowly now. I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. into your face. Huh. Accelerated aging. They don't know the cause. Oh my god. Meryl, you're my informant in the US military. And you must be the inspector sent by the UN. Commander! Sorry. This is Rat Patrol Team 01. We're with the CID, one of the bodies investigating PMC activity. First hounds, now rats. Here, you can have this back. <laughs> What is your problem? You okay? Stomach pains? 